Hello everyone and welcome to Chatelaine Makes. I'm Lorraine and today I'm going to dye some yarn. So I already have uh, my yarn. I soaked my yarn in uh, cool water with vinegar and I have it in the pan uh, heating up the water which is pretty hot right now and I am going to use some Jacquard acid dye. This is burgundy. That's okay. And I have some pumpkin orange, which kind of looks nice. And I have some emerald green. So I'm going to try to speckle this and um, I will because I'm using the powder I will have to put my mask on so I'll talk louder so you can hear me I'm just going to pause this and move the camera and bring you back okay so as you can see in here I have four skeins I have two of uh, merino wool and bamboo sock yarn and I have two of merino wool cashmere and silk the cashmere silk is a DK, and the um, bamboo one is a number one, okay, according to my tags here. Okay, so I have some spoons, plastic spoons that I'm going to be using. I have a little sieve here. I'll be putting my powder in. And I'm going to put on my mask. This is a filtered mask because the fact that I will be using powdered and it is acid dye. Okay, so you can hear my voice is going to be a little different. Okay, so hopefully you can still hear me. Okay, I've got my mask on. I'm going to go and get gloves. So I have a box of gloves here. Okay, I'll turn my water down. Think, um, this is low immersion. I have less water in here than what I normally do. Because I'm not going for an all over look. So I'm opening up my pumpkin orange. Sprinkling this. Oops. I've only tried this method once before.
can do one side and then do the turn them over and do the other side. So here my orange. Now I'm going to do my burgundy. So I'm just using the end of the spoon. To measure, to scoop it into my sieve here, and these are strictly designated for yarn dyeing tools. I don't use them for anything other than dyeing yarn. I hope you can see this. I'll try to adjust the camera in a moment. for the container that I have the green in. Well, as you can see, I got a big blob there. This one's a little harder to get out because of the container. Sorry about that. button here. Okay, so I'm trying to move the camera so you can see. And because I'm not going for a all over Coverage. I'm just going to try to gently move some of this yarn. a bit of green at the end there. I'm just going to adjust my heat, turn it up a tiny bit. And I just wait a few minutes or so for 
the dye to adhere to the yarn. So I do like the way the colors are done. So I like my color combination choices that I made today. So I'm going to pause this and bring you back when I'm ready to turn it, when I turn it over and do the other side. about that all right so I turned turned my yarn over and I will be doing the same process again okay so I've got my face mask back on let me adjust my straps. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, so I think that's it for my green. Don't get any room here. Okay. My burgundy. It's very difficult to just get a little bit of speckling. As you can see with the greens, but I'm okay with that. Especially since the opening of the jars is not that big. Okay, so I think that's all I'm going to add. Looks like I pretty much got all of them. 
coloring that I want. So I'll leave this heat up some more and then I will bring you back when it is ready to rinse and wash.